Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, the video so many of you have been waiting for. Rob, how are we doing, brother? Doing pretty good. The video is about you. Yep, all about me, <laughs> nothing else. You guys are just gonna be able to sit here, full 30 minute video actually, just about my life. Are you gonna give them all the sauce and tell them all about my life story and how, yep, how, exactly. how this thing is actually ran, right? Yep. No, I'm just having fun. Well, that actually would be a fun video for another time, but uh, yeah. we're gonna be talking about the Vertex today actually. So, uh, yeah. you and I have had, uh, and I wanted to include Rob on this video because he's been running it, two thirds, three quarters of the last week? Yeah, probably for the most of this past week I've been using this over the Z, just trying to get some hours on it, try to feel it out. So I wanted to include Rob because he's got his own thoughts, his own perspective, his own opinion about the unit. Uh, so far, right out of the gate, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, Dude, I'm enjoying it a lot. Solid thumbs up. Let's do a little walk around here. Uh, can you take us through the mower, Rob, if you don't mind? Yeah, I mean, well, first we got our shoe blocker that we put on. Got to have that on for us to get all the grass keeping from the beds at least um, But I will say my favorite thing probably so far is just the uh, the handles going on up here for everything You so used to just having the two in the middle and then the bars on the outside. This is just very nice I like being able to have more control this way and even just backing up You feel like you're just getting the movement that you want You're not gonna have anything or have to worry about it like that at least but you were saying a lot less jumpy Yeah, than the previous unit the star s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, just the, as in the Actual stand itself jumping around. I feel like I'm not you know hitting a divot and then I'm gonna fly off the mower. <laughs> I, it I happened agree. once before last time. So, no, yeah. I, I agree. Um, buttery smooth on the hydros going backwards as well as forwards. Mm -hmm. Yes, both forwards and backwards. I've been enjoying it a lot. Uh, all right, so what do you think about, we're just gonna go through it a little once over. Um, first off, 23 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine. I know a lot of guys were like, is that enough power? Is it gonna bog down? Is it, how's it gonna cut wet grass? We've cut a little bit of everything. Yeah, we've cut a little bit of everything. I don't think we've had one moment where it's actually started to bog out on us or feel like it's, you know, not catching up with the amount that it's trying to cut. And it's been working out really well so far. Absolutely. Um, now, I'll tell you what, full disclosure, Xmark sent this unit out to us to, to demo, to share, to highlight with you guys uh, on the YouTube channel. Super appreciate that. Dream partnership for us. Uh, but at the same point, I'm trying to shoot it to you guys as straight as possible. This mower is 12 grand. I don't want anybody going out there making a bad decision uh, because somebody didn't shoot it straight on a review. Uh, we don't do that here on the channel. Now, we do have some uh, cons or some things we don't like about the mower. We're going to get to that list in here uh, in just a quick second. So make sure you guys watch all the way through. I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to make or break it. I'm purchasing this unit, uh, but there are some things that we don't like already. That being said, um, really quick, Rob, can you talk about the deck height adjust and the lift arm right there? Do you oh, like it? Yeah. I mean, myself, I like it. I mean, you just got this button that hits this latch, pull it all the way up. You got your different sizes. I really like the fact that when you have it, say you know you got one or two stripes you gotta make at three and a quarter but everything else you're mowing at three you can put it at three and a quarter set it down to that position and then you can take that pin out move it down to three now it's locked at three and a quarter can do my two passes and then when I'm done I can just finish it and let it go down all the way to the little pin I like it very very cool um, let's talk about, I got a little uh, notepad here, a little list here. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the platform because the, we actually like the platform a lot. Oh, the platform <laughs> itself, yes. Not just the fact that it, you don't feel like you're gonna go flying everywhere, but for the fact that down at the very bottom, you don't have a just wide opening. It's kind of closed in. I mean, you got, you got a little bit of these circles there in the back, but other than that, it's pretty closed in. So for us, when we're mowing, and, we are picking up garbage and everything. We can just kind of throw it in there and keep it with us rather than having it go underneath and then worrying that's gonna come flying out and we're gonna be running over it with the mower. Amen to that. Well, let me do this really quick. We're gonna take a little uh, commercial break here. We're gonna show you guys some mowing footage. Actually, Mark just got done mowing half of it. Rob just got done mowing the other half of it. Let's cut to that really quick and then we're gonna come on back and give you guys the things that we don't like about the mower. Hang tight. I 
know if you guys can hear, but the engine is not bogging down at all. And that was something that I was a little concerned with personally because uh, obviously, like I said earlier, we did have this unit provided to us from Xmark, and I put my order request in for a Kohler powered unit. Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm so glad that we got the Kawasaki unit in with the Kawasaki power plant. It is a beast. Uh, we were cutting this whole field last week. It was four or five inches tall. There was no bogging down of that mower whatsoever. So 23 and a half horsepower, like I said earlier, I like to see something in a 27, 29, a 37 horsepower. That'd be awesome. Uh, but you know what, to be fair, the 23 and a half horsepower, it's holding its own. It's not bogging down on anything we've been putting it through just yet. So it is what it is. So we're back, coming in hot, and we're gonna talk about things we don't like. Uh, now, really quick, before we go into that, there was one or two other things that I do like. Number one, you've got the battery right here on the side. Now, as this uh, unit ages and as the battery ages, uh, I'm really grateful and thankful they put the battery where it's very convenient to grab, very convenient with the little uh, cover there. It's not stuck underneath somewhere or underneath the, uh, the seat where you gotta take a bunch of screws off. None of that kind of nonsense. So battery placement, really, really good. Um, one of the highlights of uh, this again, we have a video coming out, I think tomorrow, on the Ballard shoot blocker. Uh, can you just flip that up really quick for me, Rob? While you guys are watching, I know a lot of you guys want to have a shoot blocker on your mower. Barely sticks out more than a half inch. Mechanical design. Uh, you get them at Ballard Dash 8. And Brian's 10 saves 10%. Wanted to highlight that there because a lot of guys are got, uh, just getting their Vertex and they're like, hey, how did the shoot blocker go on? It's the same Ultra Cut Series 4 deck that has been on pretty much every Laser Z. The 6 Series is on the X Series decks for the lasers. Maybe they'll come out with an X Series Vertex. That'd actually be pretty dope. Uh, more on that later. Uh, but for right now, the shoot blocker has been working great. Uh, one other thing I was going to comment that I liked and oh is the grab bar this big push bar so we have got the unit stuck a couple times <laughs> and by we i mean you <laughs> but that's okay that's okay we're learning it's been so rainy no it's super wet super rainy <laughs> he's quiet now ain't he mark not as big as tires as i'm used to with the z you got the walk of shame when he comes from around the back of the house oh, you're yeah. you already oh, dude, i already know you already know hey. Hey, 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 hey actually i got stuck on the curb Oh, that's right. That's right. So let's let's talk about that. Um, we're gonna talk about the pad and a couple things, but talk about hopping uh, curbs. Um, yeah. One thing I noticed actually today while we were mowing one of our commercials is uh, just had a harder time trying to hop this up and over some of our curbs that we have. Just we we'll try to get it up there and would we'll just bottom out. No matter which way we kind of tried to get it up there, just seemed like it would just stop right there. Yep. But uh, I agree. We kind of had to go and get the Z for that so we can hop over the curb. But other than that, like. There's some curbs I know this will hit, but if it's a taller curb, you're might not gonna be able to get it over. Yeah, so I don't know the exact tire size. Uh, this was one of my concerns. They're, I don't know, 20 inches maybe. I think it's 20 by 10. Not awful, but not great. Uh, the front tires are a little bit thicker and a little bit taller than on some of the other units that I've driven. Uh, but I agree, with the 60 inch deck, and it just kind of scraping whether you go up diagonal or straight on or oh, yeah. or yeah. reverse it's been tough to jump some of the curbs some yeah, of those like, even if you can jump the curb you might hear a little scrape or something like that just because of how you know how it is trying to hop up and over it but amen all right uh let's talk about uh the pad because that was i think something that you wanted to make sure that yes, we brought up that was that was probably if anything my probably biggest thing with the mower it's not a make or break for me it's just kind of one of the things i noticed as we were riding it and using it a little more um is the fact that down here on the bottom of the pad there's this little like stitching or whatever it is and at first i thought it was because i was just a taller guy you know it's not the pad's not hitting where they would plan it hitting but then even you got on the mower yeah and you had the same problem but of when we're standing on it and you're moving around your shin starts to kind of rub up against it and actually you get a little little red marks it starts to kind of just get annoying shimple. yeah i mean more or less just make your leg a little raw in that area just from I guess it's just from the threading there. I, yeah. I'm not too sure, but that's one thing that we've noticed that 
if anything that's kind of been like huh but yeah not a, again not a make it or break it thing um at first i thought you were just being a baby no, <laughs> but then yeah. but then i was on it myself on was it thursday or friday yeah and my yeah. shin was getting rubbed raw as well and that's that's never fun no, yeah that was just my thing is i just thought it was because i was a taller guy you right. know leg length but just having that just on your shins after you know a couple hours moving up and down going up over whatever you're going on it just starts going away at your legs here i've just learned you have to start stepping back a little bit and we like to lean our knees into it more now yeah rather than having everything leaning up on it step back and just push our knees into it so a quick suggestion x mark maybe get rid of this uh multicolor stitching or something it looks nice or cool or, even or just they could just taper the design in the middle as a point even yeah, you know or even go down maybe another two inches even might just stop that from rubbing up against your leg in that one area amen but. um other than that you know it's a pretty solid mower uh you got the front caster tires uh that help with you know keeping the deck from gouging or uh scalping everything is just wide open down here as you guys can see you can blow it off really easily uh it's you want to pop that up really quick just to lift the deck yeah. it, i mean it barely any effort there do it one more time for me i mean barely any effort uh, a lot of folks are asking why is the engine mounted to the deck you're able to get some better deck flexion there uh, which means you can mow from one inch to about five and a half, maybe six inches. If they put the engine on the actual platform, that uh, angle would be a little bit more sharp. You wouldn't be able to cut as low or as high. And like I said, that engine block there weighing, you know, 100, 200 pounds. Go ahead. Well, give me one more lift, Rob. Like literally no effort. So if you got a, a, a young lady on the, the mower who's 120 pounds soaking wet, she should be able to lift this up. Uh, no problem. Uh, one last thing some folks are gonna probably wonder about the you know rigidity of the deck look at these rods These are I don't know half inch maybe an inch thick yeah, So somewhere around there. one last thing was fuel uh, fuel quantity and uh, Hours, I think I think it's an eight gallon tank. Don't quote me. Uh, we haven't had any issues running it at all all no. day um, oh, yeah. Fill it up in the morning and it's lasted us we've been mowing eight hour days yeah hasn't been an issue at all last thing is the parking brake uh you want to throw that down yep. pop that up that's a lot better than having it down there yeah it's really nice just having it <laughs> up here you can easily flick it up and out exactly all right i'll give you guys a last little uh readout here and show you the dash uh one one personal um thing i would just a little gruff about is i'd wish the throttle control was here or to the side it's just it it's just weird like you to go forward, I gotta lift this forward, but I gotta get my hands underneath. It should just be here or here. I actually realized the same thing, and it's been a little bit of a problem with me too, where I'm just trying to get it to full throttle and I'm hitting one of the joysticks and I slightly jerk yeah. forward or backwards, whatever way I'm trying to pull it, just because you got this bar over here. That it's, it sounds kind of weird, but if you guys have one, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I haven't really had any issues with the choke because you're just you're grabbing it with this bar, the grab bar. And able to push that down but when you're trying to get the throttle in there you're you're kind of wrenching your hand inside or you got to come underneath and it's just kind of cumbersome but uh here's our proof in the uh pudding we've got 21 hours 21.7 hours i'd say 18 of them are you probably 15 18 there, of yeah. them are you good two-thirds at least to me all right so foreman rob thumbs up endorsement or definitely a thumbs up one of my favorite standards that i've used and plan on still to use it for quite a while all right well i hope so man we've got a lot of grass to cut all right so all right guys if you have any questions on the x mark vertex leave them down below i will do my best to answer them and uh, we'll definitely give you guys some updates as we go we already got 20 hours on the unit and i don't know we'll try to get a 150 hour review and shortly thereafter a 500 hour review and show you uh share with you guys what else is going on with the unit with maintenance so right. rob any last things no not really I'm I think we kind of covered everything that we wanted to get out. All right. Well, over and out, guys. Well, thanks again for watching this uh, video. Brian, Brian's Law Maintenance. Share it with a friend. Maybe share it on uh, Facebook if you guys want for anybody who's a big Xmark fan. But telling you what, uh, Xmark is back on top with their stand-ons. And uh, I'm really excited about this unit. I think it's a winner. That's what we got. All right, guys. Over and out.